Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Devonte, aka Avon, coming to you live once again from the Red Room. Now we are back up in this thing to have another discussion because there's a topic we need to talk about, and you know, I don't know why it's going on. I don't know why people can't be adults, but you know, we're gonna talk about it. But before we get into this video, I need you guys to do a couple things for me, and you already know what it is. I need you to like subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell so that way you know everything that's going on here at hashtag Imperial TV. Now without further ado, let's get on into this video. Okay, so today we will be talking about being ghosted. Now, Unless you've been living up under a rock, you know, you haven't been ghosted before. But, you know, if you're someone like me who lives in the land of the living, then you've definitely been ghosted by someone. And I don't understand why people do it. I really don't. Um, I just don't see why people can't, you know, be adults and tell someone what's going on before they just up and disappear. According to the New York Times, they actually gave a definition, but according to the New York Times, it says ghosting, when someone cuts off all communication without explanation, extends to all things, it seems. Most of us think about it in the context of digital departure, a friend not responding to a text, or worse, a lover, but it happens across all social circumstances, and it's tied to the way we view the world. Now, I mean, you know, that's pretty much a basic <laughs> textbook definition of what ghosting is. And I mean, yeah, it's just that. It's someone basically walking out of your life for no apparent reason. They never tell you anything as to, you know, there being an issue or being a problem. They just, you know, simply one day decide they're not going to deal with you anymore. Don't get me wrong. I am all for, you know keeping your circle small and you know not having people in your life if they're not bringing any value to your life you know like don't have people in your life that's not going to push you to the next level in your life like you should always be with people that are going to constantly make you want to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be so don't get me wrong i agree with you know getting people or removing people out of your life that don't bring a certain sense of value to your life as well as i understand you know don't have people around you that bring negative energy like we've all been around people that just always have a negative vibe about them or it's like every time we hang out together you just can never find anything positive to grasp onto for that moment and make the moment an enjoyable moment so i'm definitely for both though like i said keep people out of your life that don't have value as well as remove people from your life that you know just bring negative energy to your circle i'm here for all of it what i don't agree with is the xing out like, don't X people out of your life without some type of resolution, without some type of explanation. Because that is a very hurtful feeling. Take it from somebody who's been there before. It hurts. Because, you know, you're left wondering, well, dang, did I say something to that person that offended them? Did I not say something that maybe I should have said? Did I not do something I should have done? Or did I do something that I maybe should not have done? Like you just have all these questions and you never know was there something that I did or did not do. Now I've heard it before, you know, if you didn't do anything, why are you upset or why do you feel like you did something? Well, I mean, you know, if you just up and walk out of somebody's life or up and dismiss somebody out of your life and they don't know what the reason is, quite naturally, most people are gonna feel like or assume that it was something they have said or done to make you not want to deal with them anymore. Now, when it comes to friendships, um, I have been ghosted by friends. I have, like people that I thought I was very close to or who I thought was very close to me. 
and it hurt. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it hurt. And like I said, I know I did not purposely do anything to hurt them or offend them. But at the same time, when you just up and walk out of somebody's life and you don't give explanation as to why, then what am I left to assume? I mean, I'm going to assume that I either, like I said, said or did not say, did or did not do. Like, if you don't tell me what's going on, I can't read your mind and know, okay, well, as a friend, Devante, you either dropping the ball or, hey, you know what? If I tell you ain't doing nothing, maybe it's just something they're dealing with or they're going through. But if that's not communicated, then how am I to know it's not me? And that leads me to the big thing of communication. Anybody that knows me knows I am very, very big on communication, whether that is in a relationship or whether that's in a friendship or just, you know, everyday life, work, all that stuff. I'm big on communication because I feel like it takes no time to simply communicate with somebody what's going on. So in the instance of ghosting, as far as friendships go, I feel like when it comes to friends, I feel like friends are owed a certain amount of respect that they should be in the loop of what's going on with you. Like, let me know what's going on. Like, if you decide you don't want to be my friend anymore, let me know that. Trust me, I am a big boy. <laughs> I'm a big boy. And yes, it's gonna hurt. Especially, you know, if you're a friend that I truly value, it's gonna hurt. But in the day, I can walk away from the situation knowing, you know what, this is what it is, or this is what it was. And we've reached that point to where, you know, Either we gotta part ways, take a break, whatever the case may be. But if that's not communicated to me, I can't, I can't, you know, have, I don't wanna say closure because I always say closure is a privilege, it's not a right, and that you have to find a way to deal with it. Which is, you know, which is how I came up with that concept because after you've been ghosted by people that you really held close to you and called your friends, you have to learn how to find your own closure. Because obviously if they have gone on, they don't wanna to talk to you, they don't wanna see you, they don't wanna hang out. So you have to find within yourself the peace and closure to be like, you know what, for what it was worth, it was a good friendship. Now, whatever caused the divide or the separation, you know, I'm not sure, but I can honestly say, you have to be honest with yourself, but you know, I can honestly say, I don't know of anything that I did that could have caused this to happen. So yes, you have to communicate. You have to let people know like, hey, this is where I'm at right now. And I just feel like it's best that I just be to myself or I just, you know, end this friendship because, you know, you're not a bad person, but you know, what comes with you is, kind of having a negative effect on me because I mean you know when you are friends with people and you're and you get close to people you have a tendency to sometimes take on their concerns or their issues so sometimes you know being a friend with somebody can be too much but if that is the case be man enough and be woman enough to let them know hey I love you you're an awesome person but you know what comes with you I just can't deal with that. And I'm not saying it's gonna be an easy conversation because it's not gonna be an easy conversation. I mean, nobody wants to hear anything like that, but it's the adult thing to do, to let somebody know, I feel like for whatever reason, at this point we have, you know, reached the end of our road as friends. Now, when it comes to dating, that is a whole nother field in itself because Ghosting has like really become a thing. And for some people, it's like really something to glorify. And I'm not understanding why that is something to be glorified. You've been sitting here talking to somebody, getting to know them. They've taken their time to talk to you and get to know you. And then out of nowhere, you decide this ain't going nowhere or I don't wanna deal with them no more. So I'm just gonna block them or stop responding to their texts or stop responding to their phone calls, 
you know, this and the third. I don't understand that. To me, that is so coward-like. And I don't care who you are. I mean, you know, it is what it is. That's how I feel about it. Because I'm not that person to do somebody like that. And like I said, maybe because I've been done like that so many times, I wouldn't want to just leave somebody hanging and not let them know, like, well, look, you know, we started out good, but, you know, after, you know, X, Y, and Z, or whatever, you know, I just don't it's gonna work. And you don't even have to go into, ex you know, go into detail and explain to them what it was they said or did. But you can just at least have the courtesy to be like, you know, I just don't feel like, you know, we're a good match or we are a good fit. You know, I thought we were, but, you know, I, I don't feel that same way anymore. Period. That's it. And keep it pushing. But it's so crazy because there are so many people that don't do that. They'll just talk to somebody and then it's, it's always a plethora of things. Either they are talking to multiple people at one time and then something really strikes up with this one person so boom all y'all get cut or it can be small little petty stuff you know i don't like the way they crack their knuckles i don't like this i don't like that i'm not sure honestly for me i feel like most of the time i get ghosted when it comes to dating is because of my keloids that's just me um nobody's ever told me anything differently so you know like I said, I don't know what the issue is um, because, you know, they never tell you why. All you know is one day you can't call them, you can't text them, you can't message them. You know, if you're on social media, you can't message them or DM them, you're blocked or, you know, either you message them and they're not responding. So, you know, you don't, you just don't know. And it used to bother me so bad. And I mean, it still happens to this day now. Don't get me wrong. I still get ghosted because I'm very much single and I'm not dating anybody. <laughs> so I still get ghosted. Um, but it doesn't bother me and it's not such a blow to my self-esteem like it used to be. Especially not now since I've been doing YouTube and now that I'm doing sessions and stuff. Like, the confidence I have within myself and my keloids has really, really boosted. I mean, there's still the days where I don't feel like dealing with, you know, being outside or being around people. But I don't have as many as many of those days anymore. But as far as being ghosted and stuff, as I've gotten older, it doesn't strike a blow to my ego the way it used to. Now I'm just like, you know, it's your loss. <laughs> like, you missing out on somebody that's very loving, somebody that is so caring, will give you the shirt off their back, will go out of their way for you. Anybody that knows me and is a friend of mine, know that I'm one of the most loving caring people and I say that in the most humble way possible um but I just am that's how I was raised I was raised to you know be a person with a big heart and look out for people and care for people and not just screw people over but you know I'm not the kind of person people want obviously <laughs> and that's okay and that's fine everybody everybody is entitled to their own flavor they are and as I kept growing I learned that sometimes God removes people from your life so that way you can get to the next stage in your life because sometimes people will come in and you'll get so stuck and so attached to them and so glued to them and, and, it, and it doesn't matter how long that person's been in your life. But sometimes you can get so stagnant being attached to certain people that when it's time for you to move, you scared to move because you so busy worried about this person and their feelings and what they got going on. And sometimes it's not even that serious. Sometimes it's just where you're going in your life, they can't go with you. They can't. Some people are not meant to progress to every level in your life that God has laid out for you. That's just the fact of the matter. And it took me a long time to understand that. And it's a battle within yourself to get to that realization and accept that realization. Because, you know, human nature, there are certain people you want to bring up with you on your way to the top. 
and you know everybody's top is different some people's top is being you know celebrity some people's top is just you know being comfortable and stable which that's mine i just want to be comfortable and stable you know i just want to have you know whatever businesses and projects i, I do and be stable within those financially so that way i can provide for myself my future offspring and you know that's all i want but like i said you have that human nature to just grab people up and bring them up with you but everybody's not meant to go on the journey with you and that's the thing we have to realize just because it looks good and it glitters like gold not gold <laughs> glitters like gold in your face that doesn't mean it's gold once you peel back the wrapper or when you scratch off the coating so just because it seems good at the moment does not mean it will be good down the road and that is the amazing thing about god is that god knows everybody by their heart they know when somebody's in your life for you and when somebody's in your life to be against you and then you know certain circumstances will arise where you have to go through those moments with those people that are against you because you have to learn that lesson you have to learn that everybody in this world is not here for you. So I feel like there are times, you know, God knows what you can and can't handle. And I feel like those people that you can't handle are the ones he going to snatch on the out of them and be like, uh-uh, I'm not even going to let you deal with this because I already know you. And I know if I let you get linked up with this fool over here, <laughs> it's just going to be terrible and it's not going to be nothing nice. <laughs> and so... You know, we have to sometimes accept that harsh, bitter reality as, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, they ghost to me, but guess what? I'm still here. So if you, if you still want to date, keep going on with your life and dating. I mean, first of all, that's a part of the dating game anyway. You're going to have to deal with rejection. Sometimes it just comes abruptly, like I said, in the form of ghosting for whatever reason. It happens to some people like that. And some people, they deal with people, you know, l longer in their life. Honestly, I feel lucky most of the time being the person that it gets cut off abruptly. Because I would hate to have to go through years and years and years of being with somebody dealing with crap that could have been avoided if you just would have ghosted me. So I guess, you know, I guess ghosting ain't really that bad when you think about it. <laughs> I guess it really ain't that bad when you think about it. So, I don't know. Yeah, but that's all the time I have today. I just wanted to come on here and discuss that because it's a video I wanted to do for a while now. I just haven't done it and I kept putting it off and putting it off. But I was like, no, there are other people out there that are going through the same thing or have been through the same thing. And, you know, they may feel like they're by themselves. You know, sometimes it feels like you're by yourself a lot. But just know you're not. I've been ghosted. I'm ghosted quite regularly these days. It honestly does not bother me anymore because I just feel like you're an idiot that is missing out on an amazing person in your life. But guess what? I've come to realize my energy is not meant for everybody. And that's what you have to remember as well. So you keep going and you live your best life for you and keep your good energy to yourself. I'm going to get up out of here because I got stuff to do. Peace.